Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 167, and we're going to show off a little bit today. Remember, last time we had this date formula that if we put in this date here, all these other dates would update. So if we did something like 8, 1, 11, everything else updates automatically. And then we said, all right, every, if you update this one cell, everything else goes. Now what we're going to do is say, all right, we, we don't even have to update this cell. We're going to write a formula in the top cell and make everything else update. So the first thing I want to do is I want to show you this formula right here. Essentially, what we're doing is we're using the date function we did last time, and then we're going to use the year and month functions we talked about last time, too. And we're going to take the year of today's date. Remember, you've got to have today and brackets, so you've got to have year left parenthesis, today left parenthesis, right parenthesis, right parenthesis to make today work. If you do it without the two uh, parentheses for today, it's not going to work. But if you do that, what you can do is today, Excel even says it's volatile. Every time you go in, Excel is going to see what today is. It's going to pull the year and drop it in the year. Every time you go in, you're, it's going to look and see what today's month is, drop that in there, and then we can see the first day of the month's good enough. And we're good to go. The other thing you can do is you can say, well, hey, they usually, you know, I'm in June, I'm looking at May's data. That's the last month I need. Well, we can do that. We'll come back over here and we'll just put a minus one here. Thank you. Okay. And now we've got May. So we can easily make that do May, and every time you go into the spreadsheet, it's going to look at today. That formula is going to update. You'll never have to touch any of these 12 cells. Again, they'll all just automatically update for you. The other thing I did this time was different than last time. Last time we had the months going up, so we went from August to September to October to November and forward into 2012. Let's assume this time we want to go backwards into uh, 2010. What I did this time is said, all right, I'm going to do... It's easiest to do this. I'm going to pull the year out of the cell above it. I'm going to pull the month out of the cell above it and subtract one. Remember last time we took the month and added one. This time we're going to subtract one so we can make the months go the other direction. And we can make the most current month here. You could always put this formula at the bottom and then make these, put these formulas above it. It's completely flexible because you're all based on one formula and now you're not updating any of the formulas. It's all based on this formula once you have a set date. I'll put this formula and the formula that makes these cells run in the blog so you can see the detail and use this formula if you'd like to. Last thing I want to show you this time is if I'm doing a chart or a report or a table or really anything, I can do better than these dates. I think we can make these look better. Now, the formulas are there. They're not going to change, but what we can do is we can come over here and go to more formats and we're going to go to custom. Right now it's month slash day slash year. What we can do is do something like this and put a space, and now it says May 2011, and click OK. Three M's and four Y's is the code to get month and one year. And if you want to, let me just show you one more simple formula, and we can find one more too. And that's what it'll look like. If you prefer that, there you go, and we're good to go. That's what I wanted to show you today. This formula, the formula to make the rest of these work, go in the other direction now. Instead of counting up, we're counting down this way. And then a custom date format to make it all look really, really good. So then it's just a matter of putting the data in your report. That's uh, what I wanted to show you on date functions as well. There's one more set of date and time things in here that I want to talk about that relate to time instead of days. We'll talk about that next time. Thanks for watching.